Hi, my name is Ignacio and I'm very pleased to meet you all. Uh, I'm sending this video from Stockholm. I uh, tried to make a short video explaining a little bit what I uh, think about digital as well as uh, who I am. So I hope you like it and it's not too boring. So let's talk about me. I'm Spanish, I'm 38 years old, I'm married and have three daughters and I live in Sweden, in Stockholm. I like to spend time with friends and family. I also like traveling and reading. I think both help you to widen your horizons while keeping your mind open and sharp. I like exercising regularly. I love playing some tennis over the weekend with some friends. And then when we go to the uh, south of Spain in summer, I like to do some kite surfing or windsurfing, as well as doing some horse riding in the country house of my parents as well in Spain. Above all, I really enjoy doing painting and illustration. Ever since I was a little kid, three, four years old, I've been always sketching and painting. I feel fascinated about human beings, human shape, and telling stories just by sketching. And I've actually received formal education throughout all these years. Uh, as a matter of fact, today I belong to uh, the uh, Swedish Academy of Realist Art here in Stockholm. I love Middle Ages and Templars. I really think it's the coolest uh, period of the human history. And uh, I was always really interested in reading books, uh, watching films, and uh, actually going to the places where uh, they lived and understand how they lived and what they did. Job experience. I worked for Bain & Company as my first working experience for three years. I was a management consultant there. After that, I decided to go and take a, um, a two years uh, full uh, MBA in ESA in Barcelona. Uh, after I graduated, I joined Diageo uh, in a marketing role, a brand manager role in the Madrid office where I was working for two years. And then I moved to London uh, uh, to a global role in the headquarters and um, working for a, a, one of the global priority company, uh, uh, brands. After that, I decided to actually go and move to Norway. My wife today, girlfriend back then, was from Norway. I met her in my MBA and I really felt it was important to actually live uh, and, and get to know the people and, and the um, uh, culture. So I just looked for a job there and uh, I actually became the head of a startup company that was listed in the Oslo Stock Exchange um, and uh, it was in the seafood industry. I worked there for a couple of years, but then after that, Philips knocked into my door and they offered me a position in their in the headquarters uh, in Amsterdam uh, that I could not refuse. So actually I moved to Netherlands and uh, worked for uh, close to three years um, in global positions, but specifically focused on certain regional areas where I was managing their marketing activities for specific categories. And then two years and a half ago, I moved to Nordics where I am responsible for um, consumer lifestyle, which is the consumer durable division of, of uh, Philips um, for the Nordic region. Digital today, how do I buy? Well, my buying pattern is pretty much in line with most of the mortals, I would say. I first start with a Google search and then after that, I basically look for price comparison sites. I look for ratings and reviews. I look for videos and then I look for information, both coming from the manufacturers, but as well from the retailers. I love the fact that today all this information is really organized around consumers and it's really easy to find and it's really helping you to make a decision. What do I love? Well, there's three things that I love in digital today. One is the fact that I have access to all data possible uh, anywhere, anytime from my pocket. I love as well that uh, somebody came up with the idea of apps, I think is the most incredible things in the world. How much value can they add being such a simple little thing, but I really like the smartness behind them. And finally, I like the customization. I love the fact that when I look at my uh, smartphone, uh, the layout is basically the one that I decide when I go to internet, I look at my favorites and they're exactly what they want, what I want them to be as well as my RAS fits, etc. Finally, digital tomorrow. I see three big mega trends. The first mega trends that I see is that internet is going to be all over the place. Everything will be connected. Everything will be digital. What today we think is the coolest and the latest, which is the wearables, tomorrow will be basically old fashioned. I think everything will be connected and therefore wearables is just going to be irrelevant, anecdotic. The second big mega trend that I think is going to be the internet passport. And what I mean with this is that people most likely would like to connect to internet and when they do it, 
they want to see basically only that those things that are relevant for them and I believe that will be some type of portal again where basically uh, they will get all the information that they really need and want and they're interested in uh, so that everything is organized around consumers and consumers don't need to, to make a search make a search with Google or they need to go to specific theme, uh, theme uh, websites but everything will be aggregated again so I think there will be a research of portals but in a different way much more deeper understanding of consumers much more tailor-made to the consumer profiles finally I think there will be a big improvement in terms of legal and information what I mean with this is that today we're still struggling with uh, you know sharing of, of, of information of consumers and I think we will have to, to make big developments in this one, in protecting the information from consumers. At the same time, in terms of legal access of, of uh, younger people, as well as what you can do or not do in, in the internet. So that's basically my view of, of, um, of the future of digital, as well as who am I. Still awake? Perfect. Hey, there is just one more thing that I want to say, and is that I'm really thrilled to be working with all of you guys. I think it's going to be an amazing experience and I'm already enjoying it a lot. So looking forward to talk to you soon. And um, yeah, until then, all the best. Bye-bye.